Oh my holy emperor of mankind. Today's video is all about the brand new cypher book. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that this video is going to contain spoilers. Huge spoilers. Spoilers, lore that is going to change 40k, which will make your mind explode. So please, if you don't want to be spoiled, leave the video right now. It's your first and only warning. The rest of you, sit back, because we are about to get waffling thank you to the user called cypher over on my discord server how ironic that he was the one that wrote this summary up for me to do this video for those of you who are not aware the book is only out in limited edition at this moment in time so there's no audio version there's no general like selling of the book we're all still waiting for that but i want to make this video because it's just it's just too big i'm telling you right now this potential has the foundations to change forty thousand for the dark angels the fallen all that mad stuff that you expect. So the first big thing we learn is that there are many different groups of fallen within the fallen itself, and they all follow Cipher. Cipher holds the lion sword. It's like a it's like a relic of office or something like that. They follow the person who bears the sword. Now there's so many different groups within the fallen. Like there's fallen who have given themselves completely over to chaos. They follow the runer's powers. There's fallen who worship. The lion, they want to repent to the lion for their sins of, you know, betraying him and want to follow him again. This fallen who are actually anti-lion, but, you know, they see themselves as proper uh, Calibanians. Is that even a word? And they, you know, they just want things to go back to normal and stuff like that. So when you look at the fallen now, it's not like the all for chaos, the all for the Imperium. There's groups within groups. Circles within circles. Where have we heard that before? Now, the story itself is absolutely wild. I'm, I'm telling you, this is like wet and wild for those of you who've ever been to Florida. It's not there now, sadly. So wh what basically happens is it opens up with Cypher and the Fallen who are captured um, and they're taken to the cells on, on terror itself. Of course, they want to be interrogated. Cypher will never give you out his true name because, of course, if you have like a true name, then the warp can have power over you, etc., etc. Most of us know this um, by now. But one of the most maddest things happen is that a like special forces team of dark angels are sent to terror to kill the fallen that have been captured of course because secret secrets are not allowed and of course they they want to get cypher they want to kill capture cypher because cypher is like the golden prize of all the fallen so these dark angels ascend they infiltrate into the imperial palace you know it's it's dark, dark Angel shenanigans, and this is where <laughs> the absolute mayhem begins. Because Cypher and his Fallen escape from the cells. They're gathering all their equipment to head back out into the void to do, you know, shenanigans as they always do. Um, but they discover the Lion Sword that was taken from Cypher is no longer there, so they can't leave. They have to search for this Lion Sword. But by this time, the Dark Angels have arrived. They come across the Fallen, and a massive battle erupts. There's, you know, there's bullet shots, plasma, you know, people stabbing each other in the face. But of course, this is on terror. So the forces on terror start to mobilize, right? The custodians get involved and the Dark Angels start fighting. The custod not the Fallen. The Dark Angels then start fighting. The the, the the custodians, the Fallen, the fight the custodians. Everyone, it's like a Royal Rumble on Terror. Now, for me, I was like, what the hell? Why are the Dark Angels fighting loyalists? There, there, there is plenty of jokes to be had here, by the way, with you Dark Angel people. Don't, don't worry, you're not getting let off on this. We're so loyal. We've always been loyal, really? Really? Then why the hell are you fighting custodians? Now it is explained um, um, actually in the law. The, the 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 information that I got from Cipher, you know, Cipher the Discord user, not Cipher from the book, is that um, they're basically blinded by their duty to find forgiveness. So no matter what, they like they have to they have to do this. But it's kind of ironic because doing this literally is giving them more things to forgive because they're literally killing the emperor's chosen right that's well that's the way i said it uh, well again not just custodies uh there's space marines on there like there's some imperial fist on there we're gonna have words later by the way yes these imperial fists that get caught up in this and they die um you know uh, pdf guard troops stuff like that the, the like the amount of people the dark angels go through not the fallen 
is astonishing, I'm told, just to get to Cypher and end this mission. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why the hell has Gilliman not, like, said anything about this? Why has nothing been said about any of this? Why has the Dark Angels not been, you know, told off? Because the Dark Angels were basically hiding their presence well. Even though they were fighting on Terror, when one of their brothers, like, fell and died, they were basically planted with a plasma bomb, which just completely incinerated everything. Like, no gene seed extraction, nor anything. This was, like, deep undercover, like, black ops going in. If you die, your body won't recover. We will refuse to say you ever bloody existed, right? This is how hardcore the Dark Angels want the Fallen, and they want Cypher. Now, in this book, one of the main characters is a custodian. He's the one who's been charged at guiding Cypher and stuff like that, and he's the one that has been tracking Cypher down throughout this whole book. And um, basically, what happens is that he knows where Cypher wants to go. Like, Cypher's true goal is in a sanctum. He needs to get to the Golden Throne. Now, Cypher manages to get his sword back and everything like that, and the custodian um, follows Cypher to the Inner Sanctum. The DA and the Fallen clash here again, and everyone is wiped out except for Cypher and this custodian. Now, with this custodian, this is where it gets absolutely wild, okay? So the custodian in the fighting is mortally wounded. He's dying. And as he's dying, he sees this vision of, like, an old ruined dusty sitter and upon this like ordinary chair is like this rotting like you know dead corpse and the corpse utters one word and it's like please please right and then we get to see another vision which well sorry the custodian gets to see another vision which we the audience don't get to see we don't know what is shown what happens anything like that but what we do know is that this custodian then is brought back to life he's He's, he's back, baby. That kind of thing. We don't know if it's, like, chaos. We don't know if it's the Emperor. Of course it's the Emperor. There's, there's, there's Emperor shenanigans going on, okay? And he goes to Cypher then, because Cypher's about to breach in. Cypher's about to finish his task, right? Which is, obviously, to kill the Emperor. And this custodian stops Cypher and says, No, I have a message for you. And Cypher's like, Nothing can stop me from my duty. This is, this is, this is where I've led to all this bloody time. And the custodian says, wait, that that's the message, wait. And Cypher like understands it. And he just like goes back into like the shadow and just vanishes. You know, wait, not like basically don't do it yet because hope, you know, may maybe something, maybe, maybe something's being planned by the emperor or, or something. It's, it, it, it's absolutely insane. Now, that is, of course, wild, and there's plenty of videos to be made for that. I'm going to do some speculation on what potentially could come. That could be, like, the foundation for GW doing, a, like, a hard reset. Like, the Emperor actually dying, you know, Age of the Emperor or something, if they really get desperate with one or 40,000 on their sales, which I don't think they'll ever do anytime soon, because 40k is smashing it out of the park. But one other thing is an other underlying story in this, which connects to the Lion, and we know that the Lion is is coming back. So I'm just going to read this over here. It says, a lot of the fallen want to repent and return to the Legion days. As I mentioned, you know, you know, there's, there's groups within groups, circles within circles. Um, the lion sword is a key. It's not just a sword. It's a key. Um, in a literal sense, it can open a certain door on the rock, similar to the swords of the DA masters. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what chamber could the lion sword open hmm maybe a certain chamber containing um a lion um it also mentioned here that it's hinted that if the lion has this sword again it would lead to the fallen being reunited with the dark angels but you know uh, like the text state says it would never happen as both sides have drifted too far apart um and it also says here that cypher gives two possibilities of what he will do with the sword, either kill the emperor or beg for forgiveness. Like that is like it's hinted that he was going to kill the emperor in the book, but it's never really stated that he was going to do that. You know, he could have dropped his, his knees and said, "I have the lion sword, please, please forgive me, emperor." Or he could have you know stabbed it through his eye or something. We don't really know. Um, something that is mentioned, and please take this as you know, really, really thing is that Cipher is basically the one who is um, narrating this. But the author is like, you know, Cypher is very, very, um, uh, he's an unreliable narrator. So 
trust cipher don't trust cipher it's what you want to believe but for me this book was a rock and roller coaster of a ride i literally can't wait to see what happens now with the dark angels the lion the fallen um next week i've got some massive videos coming out not just rumor videos for about new dark angel models and etc i've got videos coming out about um well the war of the angels it's back baby it's actually happening now that's going to be incredible um stuff about rumors about the lion and his potential story i'm hearing some wild wild theories wild stories about that um yeah it's going to be an absolutely fantastic week incoming um for law rumors all the all the shenanigans that you expect on this channel anyway enough waffling from me thank you for coming thank you for watching this video if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that uh post it down below and we can have a nice little chin wag down there as we always do see you now have a great day and bye bye